Hey, what's up? Well, a lot has been happening. That's an old clip, and that is a screenshot of it. Uh, yeah, what is what is that? Uh, I named it the Manta Ray, and I found a rod. Whoa! Yeah, by the toilet. What are you gonna do when the rod comes home? And uh, I, you know what? I it's it's feast or famine when it comes to these microbes and uh, here's one here notice it's rectangle i'm going to train your eye that is a microbe and it's interdimensional because it is able and capable of what being transparent and not only that being a square and look at that behemoth that is amazing all right that is a macro a, a micro a macro and uh, it is having a feast it, it the LED light brings something attracts something and uh, these other uh, macros uh, attack it and uh, I notice they always travel in twos now we just seen that one uh, macro and now we're going to see another one and it I think it's going to be following another one right behind it This is some amazing stuff, and uh, and there we go. There, he's off and running, and there we go. There, all right. So what is happening there? I, that's the only thing I can think of. They're just not showing off. There is a function to them. There is a a meaning, a cause, a purpose. Uh, they're just not having a good time in the rain. And uh, when you screenshot these, these are absolutely amazing. And get, you know, the rectangles are there. They're on the back. If you take a rectangle and uh, you, you can roll it up into what? A round one. So, uh, you know, the, the, the flat panel, the rectangle, is nearly a one-dimensional state. At least that's how I'm thinking. And here's some more. There goes a rod. Uh, this was today, uh, this evening before the sun went down. My lens has got finger all over it. And uh, I hate where they locate that button right next to the camera's eye. What a genius there in design, huh? I have to keep in mind, it's just a phone. It's not a real, fully functional tool. Come on, come on. It's getting painful, isn't it? I hate this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, for that little strip, and it was gold, it wasn't white or blue like it should be because of the TV glare. And apparently, it held to its own uh, color. But there was a possibility when it had the light it went through there, it's just uh, filtered out. And so it comes out looking orange. I've seen that before. All right. Uh, we got eight minutes. And... Uh, I'm going to have a good time, and I believe I have a fairy, and I believe that this may be the manta ray. Oh, that's the clip I forgot. I, I got it loaded with 30 clips, man, and I got eight minutes here, and but I didn't drop it, but it was the first encounter I had had with this square type uh, micro. And uh, it had it, it appeared to have a tail on it. And uh, there is a, a feast that comes up that I don't believe we have ever captured a rod eating, okay? And, uh, and there is a such thing as a rod. That's the whole idea of showing you the rectangle. Interdimensional. Rods are interdimensional. 
and they do not want you to go into that ground because for military purposes I'm sure of it because it is just absolutely incredible knowledge but for a few of us to know at hand I think it'll be okay and so now we're talking about a feast and uh, these um, macros feasting look at that <laughs> I love it. it it just absolutely blows me away the physics that we see in these videos uh, you you can't really measure it and it's mind-boggling of the things that go up that could possibly be the LED the things that are very close to the lens it's it's just reverting it you know it's running it backwards it doesn't matter you can watch the video upside down and it's still a gas now the feast now I believe that there was a feast going on oh here it is right here the fairy but it's not mine I wish it was I found it on Facebook I don't know if it's real or not but I have studied the anatomy here's mine it's popping way too fast and it looks strange but the point is is that there it is it's snagging it away and watch it will take it away it's a rod it takes it away at the end of it that's the thing about our fairy our fairy is like a bird with wings on each side it's like a plane the tail is on the head it's like a rudder and then it's like there's a banana under it and the opened end is towards the back now this open end notice on the feeding where it came down and snatched the rod out of the air is where in the back but it was stealth was totally invisible almost and here we go again he's going up I turned it sideways damn it I, I don't I hope you can see it anyway uh it's able to catch these macaronis all right I'm creating I'm being funny I'm a comic well I'm pretending anyway uh to me I I'm just putting you know the dominoes the pieces of the puzzle together that's all I'm doing I'm, I'm not proving a whole lot but on the other hand tell me that I'm not Am I making sense? I hope so. Oh, that was a rod. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, rods don't exist. Then what was that? What is that? It's a rod. Interdimensional creature. Oh, screenshot time. I just love this. I can't believe I done that, but I did. Here we go, rectangles, and here's the second shot as it's moving upwards, and it will be filled with what? Orbs, and this is rolled up, and it's one-dimensional, and the black silhouette that you see right there, I believe we are looking at the creature that embraces the microbes, and...